everyone. Welcome in Crush It Life and Stuff with Deborah. I am Deborah, and yes, it's another happy mail. Um, as you will have heard by now on a previous Vlogtober uh, thingy, there was a little drama involving my car. Not bad drama, just annoying drama. And I didn't go get the mail until way later than normal. I had gotten a happy mail that day, but that was from FedEx. That was on Saturday. And then late on Saturday, I went out to the mailbox. And, because, uh, you know, the mailbox is quite a distance from my house. I mean, it's not like miles or anything. But, you know, you don't just reach outside the door, okay? And I had happy mail. Yes! I got a postcard. Oh, and by the way, if you want to be part of the postcard swap with me, details are down below. Basically, you send me an email and with postcard in the subject line, and you and I will exchange addresses, and we will share postcards. This one is from Liverpool. This is from Abby. Thank you so much, Abby. It got here really, really quickly, too. And sweet message on the back, and also some history of Liverpool and stuff, which is a lot of fun. I really appreciate it. And the stamp that was on here is super cool, too. I want to show you that because, let's see. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. That is just super neat. Some of the cool stamps that come across when you mail stuff back and forth. It's a scorpion on it. I'm guessing that's the name of the tank, the type of tank that it was in that picture. So awesome choices. Cannot wait. I'm going to get myself a way to display these and keep them because I think it's fun hearing from people and sending the cards out. And yes, it just, it makes me. It makes this fat chick happy. Speaking of fat chick, what I'm wearing today, this is the or an orange dress that I got from a Torrid. It was in a Torrid haul a couple weeks ago. And this, of course, is the beaded poncho that I made. Lisa Ladybird loves uh, with the beady crochet challenge. And this is what I made and I keep wearing it. Orange was never my color. And now I'm like rocking it all the time because yeah, I love the little beads and this. I never thought that it'd be something that I'd wear. And here we are. Okay, awesome postcard. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> okay, something else that I got, not exactly from the mail, but y'all have seen me struggle with boxes and cutting tape on boxes. And my friend Sean brought me this. I will probably crochet something a little bit shorter for this so it could hang up here on my little hooky doodle thing because this like cuts through tape on the sides and cuts through tape on the top. So yes, no more uh, struggles with tape on boxes. So even Karen's job of, of taping boxes would not be safe against this because I struggled, I did. All right, I'm keeping this right here for right now, even though it's too long. I've got these two packages, okay? This one, and I'm going to actually use scissors to open this because of the type of package it is. This is from Miss Rebecca of Yarn and Pajamas. And I won a little giveaway that she had. And I'm pretty sure that it was a little tiny project bag. But you know what? Your girl's forgetful. I order stuff I forget. I win stuff I forget. I kind of remember. And then it's like, I don't remember exactly what it was. Oh, and we have a little package inside a package. Hello. Make sure that I'm not missing anything because it's dark and it's polka dots. Ooh. Okay. Wrapped nicely in paper, purple paper at that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I forgot. Oh, wait, and there's something in, in the bag of the bag. Okay, before I show you that, look at this cute little mini project bag. It's drawstring. It's got a tag on it. T dollars, I think it is. That's a T dollars bag because she gets uh, the little gift thing every month, and sometimes she gives them away. And she's got goodies in here. Oh, and it's oh 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 wow! This is clever. This is so clever. Inside the bag, I'm gonna turn it inside out so you can see it. Of course, you can use it the opposite way if you like, because that fabric in there is adorable as well. But look. And it's a little unhookable hooky one. It's not like the keychain ones where you have to, you know, work at it. But you can put stitch markers on there or whatever. Yes, I love that. Totally love this. This is so stinking cute and useful at the same time. Uh, along with that, ooh, I've got some tea. Oh, and a stitch marker. Wow. All right. 
Oh, I've got to get in here now because I've got to see that stitch marker in its loving glory. First of all, Bigelow Benefits Blueberry and Aloe Herbal Tea. I happen to love blueberry. Uh, it's one of the few Czech words that I know, and it's Yahode. I know that because of my great-grandmother. So, there we go. Oh, I get a little hint of the blueberry even through the package. Ooh, that's going to be yummy. I'm going to put that down there so I don't lose it. Look at this. Two little stitch markers. Cute little, like, it looks like a little glass jar. I think it's plastic, but, you know, if it's glass, and you know, tendency for me to shatter it. And those are so cute. Carrot and little beans. I love it. Love it. And I still have to finish making my stitch marker holder and hang it up because that's, that's the thing that's going to be happening. Okay. I'm going to set this down here. And now i got to open up this one, too, because... This little bag is very, very sweet, but it obscures what I'm trying to look at in the bag, and it's Deborah Proof Packaging. Okay, there we go. All right. Awesome bag pull or keychain. And since I'm not one that goes anywhere much anymore, bag pull. I love it. That's so cute. Little tassels and everything. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you so much. And something else that was in that little pack is a 20 gram mini by Southern Skeins. I have never held Southern Skeins yarn in my hand before. Look at that color. That is gorgeous. Oh, it's got some serious fuzz on it, y'all. Let's see. 100% Suri Alpaca. Wow, 20 grams, 188 yards, bountiful on a Surrey fluff yarn, and it is fluff, dude. That is so stinking pretty. That just screams fall to me, and I happen to love that because fall is the best. Fall or autumn, not the fall of civilization, but autumn, okay, just so we're clear. Okay. I'm going to put this all safely down. I've got my little partial cube that I, I told you I had a cube left of this. I'm using it right now to tuck stuff into so that I can get to another package. Now this is from Lisa Ladybird Loves. And this is wrapped so tightly. Got to make sure I'm not going to cut anything important here. Because that would be bad. And like Lisa's signature says in her emails, I didn't say it was your fault, but I said I was blaming you. So I would blame somebody for this if I did it. Come on. Get, there we go. Okay. Had to find the hole. Okay. Blasted tough envelope. Oh, there's lots of goodies in here. Oh, I dropped a pencil. Yes, I wanted one of these. This is the Lisa Ladybird branded nosy notebook. And, oh, a pencil that actually says Ladybird Loves on it. And it's already sharpened, but I do have pencil sharpeners. You know me, and I've told you about the office supply thing before. It's a thing. Love the nosy notebook. Oh, there's lots of goodies in here. Ooh, I bet this is like Pop Rocks. There's sweeties in here. I'm gonna pop, try to fish out the sweeties. Fizz whiz. Super loud popping action. Cherry flavor. I bet it's like Pop Rocks. I love Pop Rocks. I haven't eaten them in a long time, but you know, I'm a child of the 80s, so yes. Something called Pure Confectionery. I don't know what flavor this is, but it looks absolutely scrumptious. A little hard candy. Mmm. And it matches what I'm wearing today. What? Okay, I kind of like that. Here's another one with the same label on it. 
that's that orange and yellow with more yellow than orange. Sour Refreshers. Sour Apple Flavor Swizzlers. I don't know what these are. But I do love sour, so I will be trying them. It's, it feels like Laffy Taffy. Kind of soft and squishy like taffy stuff. So, ooh, I get a hint of a sour apple scent too. You may not be able to smell it through the package, but I've got a super snoot, so yeah. Mm, 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 mm. All righty. Ooh. I got a member exclusive. If you're not a member of her channel already, check it out. Look. It is a Lisa Ladybird logoed pen that actually says member exclusive. Love it. God, your logo is so stinking cute. It really is. Absolutely adorable. Yes. Wait, wait, there are more writing utensils in here. <laughs> I think these were a little extra from a pink package that she received. Maybe. <laughs> Two pink pencils, because yes, I do love pink. Even though Lisa, quite famously, does not. Um, and a pink pen. I wonder if this is the pen that writes in pink. It is! Yes! <laughs> I got the pen that writes in pink that Lisa was writing on sticky notes with. And I got the sticky notes. <laughs> if you remember back and look at some of her videos, Marie, Marie Chavez, sent Lisa a box of pink. There was a reason for it, and it's hilarious. But uh, she had to use all the pink things. And she used a couple of these, and she's like, I don't know what I'm going to do with these pink things, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I love pink stickies. They're so cute. She's like, fine, I'll send them to you. And she did. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm tickled. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh. <gasps> and it's purple. Yes, this is one of Lisa's stitch markers, which I have purchased some and turned them into earrings. Well, you don't have to turn them into earrings. They're on sterling silver lever backs. If you have pierced ears, you got earrings. But look, your girl's got a purple one now. I may have to get some more purple ones because look, that is so pretty. She makes these, y'all, and they're beautiful and they're soft and they're silk on sterling. What more could you ask for? This is a packet of seeds. I may have to get somebody to show me what to do with seeds besides crush them up and cook with them because that kind I know what to do with. But growing... I have a black thumb. I can't grow anything. Um, I've killed cactus. Okay. Uh, this is Flaming Purple Lavender. I don't know if you can see the writing on there, but they're little teeny tiny seeds. And these, I believe, are seeds that were gotten from her own plants. And that is so awesome. So yes, a whole bunch of lavender seeds. Lavender is beautiful. And of course, the purple stitch marker, that kind of goes with the purple lavender, right? Girl, you got that, that coordination thing going on. Okay. I am tickled. Obviously, I'm tickled with my Happy Mail. I hope that you enjoyed the opening journey with me. I know you didn't enjoy it as much as I did because you don't have all the goodies. I got Southern Skeins yarn. I've got the Nosy Notebook. I got some pink stuff. I am thrilled. And I got another postcard. Again, if you want to exchange postcards, I would love for you to do that. Check the description down below. You're basically going to email me your information with the word postcard in the subject line, and then we will go from there. I'd love for you to hit that like button before you took off out of here. And if you're not subscribed already, please do so because I'm getting together my 500 subscri subscriber giveaway because I wasn't expecting it to come this quickly, and it did. So I didn't have it together already. I was gathering some stuff, but not all the stuff. And it's going to be international. So even if you're not here in the U.S., you might still win. As long as you participate, you know, and be a subscriber. Because that's all I ask. Thank you guys, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye now.